What's the excitement all about, Cindy? Mom, my clients just paid. What? <laughs> Whoa. How much? Thirty thousand dollars. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Everybody, calm down. Come here. Come here. That's Thank nice. You. Mm. Thank you. Nice one, Cindy. Okay, so guys, let's take a chill pill. All right. I'm going to call my account officer right away to clear the money. And by the end of today's business, everybody will get their car. Whoa. That's what's up! <laughs> Thank you. So, um, I think I have a bottle of I like the atmosphere here. Mm. I mean, the smiles on everybody's faces. <laughs> What's popping? Oh, well, Cindy's clients just paid. Ooh, how much? A whooping sum of $30,000. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I sure Cindy. You know, she always knows what to tell the clients. Mm. Come here. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'll be taking you out tonight. Yes, you've been consistent in bringing in money. So Thank you ought to be celebrated. Excuse me, Sammy. Yes. If you're taking her out, that means you're taking everyone out. Uh -uh. No, 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 Sammy. Sammy, I don't like that. I don't like it. Uh -uh. All of us have been working now. Uh -huh. eh? That since this client um, paid today does not mean that our client will not pay tomorrow. Eh? Our own will still pay tomorrow now. I've been able to pray for us, maybe we'll collect. Eh? <laughs> Even my client almost paid today. Even though that she was stopped by her Nigerian pastor. Uh, that one just ruined everything for me. But you know the thing, eh? Maga know the finish for eh. That's so, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, I, I give up. It's just better we, we postpone this till Friday. Yeah. On Friday, we'll go clubbing and we shut down the place. When you gain the world and then you lose your soul, you know they aren't playing when they say smokers are liable to die young. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I will not die young. I mean, I have lots and lots of money to take good care of myself. <laughs> when the money lady of a suburb. Mm. I'm talking about money. Has any of your clients showed interest in towards paying money? Well, a few of them have. They've been paying in bits. 10, 15, 30, 50,000 dollars. But you know, my main concern is Mr. John, the main MAGA, the American philanthropist. That man is giving me stress. So much stress. That man is really stressing you out. Tell you. You know, I had to contact Uncle Ibezim to leave his base in Las Vegas to have a face-to-face -face meeting with this man in New York. Well, he did. The meeting was four days ago, and to the best of my knowledge, it was successful. Are you saying Uncle Ibezim is now part of the deal? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not be waiting till they call Hammer and be that one. Yes, now. I mean, everybody must chop. Well, he played his part very well. I'm impressed. Well, the meeting was successful, how come he hasn't paid? Mr. John says he wants to meet our pastor. Pastor? Why? That is because I told him that the orphanage is being managed by a pastor. So he wants to see him before sending out any money. Oh, well, in that case, I can, <coughs> I can play pastor now. All I just need is the attire. Sammy. <laughs> now, this is not something we would joke with. You, a pastor? Why not? I can act it. It's... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That man is very smart. Very, very smart. Mm. You know, Queen, sometimes I, I wonder if you really understand this business. What we're doing is scam. Advanced fee fraud. 
It's the act of uh, obtaining money from people through, uh, through, through, through pretense. I mean, it's acting. I can act it. I can play it. You don't welcome the idea of inviting a real pastor. I don't. Because poor things. Sammy, I don't want to joke with this. Okay? Honestly, I've been doing everything to scam this man. But he keeps asking confusing questions. But not to worry. By the time we settle his curiosity, I'm definitely sure that he will pay. Calm down. How much are we talking about? You want to know? Three million dollars. You didn't say that. I said Three that. million what? Three million dollars. <laughs> Where on earth can we find an account that can accommodate such amount? Uh, uh, Sammy, you don't know me again. I have settled that already. I settled it with Aruna. The money is going to be paid through a Lebanon account. And you know how much your courts will be from this money. Whoa. So chill. Money they come. All we need to do is just sit, relax. While relaxing, we need to find a way to get a man of God to do this job. Um, Queen. Do not see it as if I am being too pessimistic, but I just want to be sure I show about what I heard. Did you just say three million dollars? I said three million dollars. Yes, three million dollars. <laughs> Are you sure the man has that kind of money to pay if we, if we give him what he wants? Baba, you know your girl. I know they put hand for Kurukiri Waka. I have studied this man. This man has got lots of cash to dispose. Take him easy. <laughs> then in that case, money talks and bullshit works. Of course. Who we'll find a way around it? That find is why I always want you around. And Just I Just to get a pastor, yeah? To get a pastor, of course. I'll open it. You will. Right now, I'm already checking out the curtain. You're my G for life. <laughs> <laughs> Three million dollars. Oh. Four. It's the other of the day now. Internet frost it's the day of the day now. Hey, Yahoo, Yahoo. Oh, I. Hey, Cybercrime. Hey, City. Oh, hey, I. Oh, hey, Cybercrime. Hey, City. Oh, hey, I. What's the profit when you gain the world and then you? Yourself. Pastor Taribu, how are you? I am fine, you are welcome. Thank you very much. I was going to wonder what was keeping you. <laughs> we are blessed. Please sit. Thank you. Uh, hmm. So how have you been? I've been fine. You know how this ministry work is. We're always on evangelism, burning midnight candle for the Lord. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, the Lord will see you too. Thank you. Ngozi. Ngozi Chukuka. Good afternoon, man of God. Welcome back. Bring something for Pastor Taribu. Okay. So how have you been, Junior Pastor? Why do you allow your domestic staff to dress like that? I am a New Testament man of God. I celebrate beauty. I said get something for him. Get a wine, brandy, some get alcohol now. I'm sorry, sir. I know Pastor Taribu will not love to drink wine. Thank you. Juice is fine. So you want her to give me alcohol when you know I will never take it. <laughs> Pastor Taribu, the Bible says that Jesus Christ turned water into wine. Alcohol is not a sin unless you abuse it. I will not go into argument with you on that. But I must confess, you have a very beautiful house here. <laughs> this is one of them and just the beginning. I will buy private jets soon. What? You heard me loud and clear. I will buy private jets soon. Are you serious about what you're saying? I look like a joker. 
Do you know how much a private jet will cost? I serve a miracle working God. Don't forget. Pastor Nick, the miracles of the Lord do not include vanity. Private jet is not vanity. The Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto thee. Every other thing, not some things, meaning private jet is included, schools included, hotels included, foreign properties included. Mm -hmm. Do you know the number of lives? such amount of money will touch? Do you know the number of souls that that kind of money will bring into the house of God? Who cares about bringing souls to Christ? If they repent, fine. If the people refuse to repent, beautiful. Heavenly race is per head. Honestly, Pastor Nick, you are confusing me. You are confusing me with your postulations, your actions, I mean everything. I will not deprive myself life, like good life, because I'm a man of God. No. I'm a new generation man of God. Even the Bible has Old Testament before New Testament. And I'm sure very soon we will have modern testament. So don't don't don't, don't think that suffering, dressing down, not enjoying life makes you a better man of God. No. Okadinobi. Because those things you are condemning are products of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you rejecting your father's product? Well, um, that is not what I am talking about. I don't worry, Taribo. You go and catch up. Baby. What's up, darling? Oh. <laughs> How have you been? Nice to meet you. I'm alright. Um, please wait for me upstairs. Why are you standing? I am leaving. There is something really abnormal about this place. Baby. I need to leave. What's wrong with your friend? No, no, no. He can't be my friend. <laughs> He's below my class on standards. So you calling him my friend is an insult on my person. <laughs> He's just a baby pastor I'm trying to brush up. I know. I'm so sorry, okay? So how have you been? I'm blessed. You look sweet. <laughs> Thank Come you. Here. <laughs> there is something you need to understand, Lady Anne. That I don't come to that boutique doesn't mean I don't know what is going on there. Yeah, honestly, madam, you don't need to entertain any form of fear. You left your business under my care. And I can say that I'm trying my best. You're trying your best? Then why am I not making profits? Aside rent and renovation, I have invested over 41 million naira in that business. Why am I not making profits? I have been meaning to tell you this, but the opportunity has not been there. I think now that it has come, I need to exploit it. And what exactly are you talking about? See, madam, this town is too small for the kind of expensive attires we have in stock. Customers have been coming to check our wares, but they don't have money to buy it. So I have been trying. Lady Anne, if I should start selling these cheap things as you have said, why then will I be referred to as the sophisticated queen? What I'm saying, madam, is we should locate the boutique to the happening place in town. Assuming I was consulted before citing the boutique at this present location, I would have advised against it. And you're sounding like I did not try. You of all people should know. I tried to find a shop in these sophisticated areas, but failed. Can I be trusted with that man? 
We should stop complaining about the stock we have. Leave me with the idea of locating, and I will put through. You have the money, madam, and I have the time. So, let's do something. No, baby, do not take the call. I mean, nothing is good enough to distract us from this sweet moment. <laughs> Just one minute. <sighs> oh, Queen. Hello? Yes, yeah, Sammy, hi. Where are you? Um, in my room. Any problem? What's up with what I discussed with you? What stuff? What kind of what stuff? What are you saying? The pastor stuff. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, I am on it. You are on it. And that's what you're saying casually. You don't sound so confident. No, 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 no. I am on it. I'm on it. Uh, just you believe me, believe me, I'm on it. I already have um, a list of pastors I believe can do the work. Really? Okay, that's nice, but we need to put in more effort. I need to get one as soon as possible. Okay? Yeah, a business that is promising to give us $3 million is, is a very big business and I should call it work. All right, thank you. And have a nice day. Bye. She will be mad at me if she finds out I came here and we actually did something together. God. She won't be mad if she finds out that you're with me. Look, she's my boss. I know her too well. Mm. She won't do anything. Do you know why? Because I love you. And she respects my opinion as her friend. Stars in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith, misleading the people. What is it? Do you really feel I should not be bothered? About what? The, domest the beautiful thing you have as your domestic staff. How am I sure that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you insinuating that I'm sleeping with my house help? Is that what you're trying to say? Um, I am just trying to protect what is mine. But if you assure me that you guys have nothing together, it's fine. To you, she's beautiful. To me, she's a normal girl. Okay? I will answer this question for one reason. What? I want to tell you, but listen. I will never sleep with my domestic staff, no matter what. No this and no peace, okay? Then I will tell her to start dressing appropriately. Uh -uh. Let me tell you what you don't know. Ngozika is just enjoying her job. Leave Ngozika alone. She is excellent with her job and I don't have a problem with her mood of dressing. Okay? I should be asking you that. How are you? I'm fine. You know this place is rugged and I'm damn rugged so I'm coping, I'm good. Mm -mm. 
You shouldn't be here. Life happens. She happens. I brought you something nice. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What did you prepare? Your favorites. Mm, you like? I prepared it just the way you like it. I trust you. <laughs> Tell me, how's business? So far, business is good, quite tough. But you know, a girl has got to do what she's got to do. I understand completely. But always remember there are so many chances out there. She needs to understand just how to play your game and then get it moving. <laughs> I like the spirit. And trust me, I'm working on something. That's my There's girl. a new business I'm trying to invest in, but oh. you know, it's a little bit tough, but tough. Well, quite tough. How about Sammy? Sammy can always run it. Sammy's around, you can... I know. Sammy is out there trying to figure things out. That's Sammy for me. <laughs> Sis, there is something I want you to do for me. Anything. Just mention it. What is it? I haven't heard from Alex and Bright in the last six months. And I'm scared. Six months? Six months. That's a long time. No, not to worry. I'll check on them. Okay, you, you need to. You know, ever since I got locked up here, Bright has been... He's been acting strange and I'm not suspecting him. It's okay. I'll take care of it. I don't need you to bother yourself about anything. I trust you. I got you covered, okay? Thank you, sister. By the way, I'm happy to see you. And I'm good. happy to see you, but what's that scar up there? Don't tell me you've been big. fighting. You know me now. I don't take bullshit. Try Carry it. on. I need to fuck them up. Now listen up guys, any pastor we are going to get for this task has to be single. Why the emphasis on single? I mean, does it really matter? Who oh, need is a guy man who can pull the stunt? Listen, married pastors are always in the habit of sharing everything with their wives. And this business is not something to be shared with a woman. Why can't we not share it with a woman when the person who is anchoring this business is a woman? You still feel we are women, right? Listen, I am only a woman in the body. But in the real sense of the word, I am a man. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. You tend not to think fast. I'll tell you why we need to get a single pastor. You see the single pastors? They are the most vulnerable pastors. And they easily fall into temptation, especially when they see a beautiful woman like me. The married pastors are hard to get. The wives are their backbone. They pray for them when they are down, spiritually and physically. And not just that. They can go all out to deal with any woman. The suspect is having anything to do with their husbands. Hmm. You know, it surprises me how you get to know all this. That's why Cindy is my girl. We all think fast. And you need to think fast as well. That is the rule of the game. Think fast.
the police! Police! Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? was the police, they would have caught you all. How could you be so stupid to leave the doors open? Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? Well, let's say I'm here to pay you all an official visit. Which one will be official visit? Which person died? Now your mama died. <sighs> Bros. Say so my mama died. She said official visit, not be a condolent visit. Ah. Uh, as you don't come, I wait till come for you. So everything, dude, we don't mean oh no, no. We don't know, no finish. Only one way you want, smile past you. You were far too kind. Well, let's start by offering me my sister's money. Okay. Your sister's money is in the bank. Yes, your sister's money is saved there. And the rest of the money is where only her have access to the money. So what's been happening since my sister got into prison? Nothing has been happening. Uh, nothing did happen. We have not been making any money since your sister went to the other side of the world. <laughs> the other side of the world, you said? Yes. Good. But let's wait for my sister to hear this. Uh. Yeah, uh, uh, madam, uh, ma madam, sister. Your name is Queen. Feel free to call me beautiful Queen. Okay. As a woman, we know that we know they make any money. No, no, when Badana go, no, nobody they pay in. We know she won Naira since where your sister go, the other side of the world. So maybe we explain it like that. Shut Not in day. The hell up. You can't tell me the business has not been running since she got into prison. Of course you have been doing business. Let me have her own share of the money. See, I tell you, calm down, no. Calm down, no. Madam Clara, no get, no get right to any court. Now we didn't package ourselves like this, oh. Nothing come out like this, oh. We didn't bomb Facebook, they keep accounts. We didn't cash clients. You know they pay. We don't talk, finish. What did they solve? What can't we pay it, no, so? Let's wait on. Jack bar for them. If she want a bomb, maybe she a bomb for inside there. Nah. Yes, Carry laptop, give her. Which kind of nonsense talk? You know? uh -huh. I don't get you. You'll be the vex. So. Nah, nah, wow. <laughs> All right. That's fine. <clears throat> I am not a nice person. So I won't tell you what she will do to you when she gets out of prison. I won't feel your sister in my mind. Okay, okay got job. I'll cut oh, down to you. Have a nice day. She no go do anything. Not you, your sister. Oh, no. Nah, nah, waiting. That's the way they in. That's the way they in. What do you want out from there? Who want help her? Baba, I will tell you. She go call her. Nah, baby. Who be Madam Clara? Now wait. Forget that one. That one, that one. My God. My God. But. That girl no get joy, that woman no get joy, you know. Forget that thing. If she want to get joy, make she use joy so bad for that side. See, now woman, that's why they parent like this. Now woman, no, she don't feel this. If she do any of her come out, go give her a toe. Okay, I'll deal with you. Baba, calm down. They're going to swim back. My blood on me. Who they follow and play? Who not? Who not? Just say it. Continue. Merry man. Me will go. Where the hell? Take your. Me will go inside. Which kind of use this for you? I'm going to spoil my shoes. I just spoil my mood like this. So we go inside. No, this is a Hey, Mr. John. Honestly, I am not doing fine. I'm not good. It's my mother's health. It's deteriorating. She, she's getting worse by the day. Yes, the doctor says if we don't give her appropriate care, I mean, bring her to the hospital, that she might die. I don't want.
about to lose my mother. <laughs> Please, just a minute. I need to get a tissue. Um, sorry. I'm, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Please, I'm really sorry. Yes. The hospital says they need about $25,000 to put her on oxygen. And I swear, I don't have that kind of money. I, I, I've just accepted my faith. If anything happens to her, then it's fine. But I really don't want to lose her. Oh, oh my God. $30,000? Oh, Mr. John, thank you. Thank you so much. You are far too kind. Thank you. Oh, the pastor, he, he went on, uh, on an evangelical mission. And I don't know what time he's going to be back. But not to worry. I've arranged to link the two of you once he returns. Thank you so much for the money. The community really needs your help. And I'll be heading to the hospital as soon as the money gets into my account. I'll, I'll let you in on, on everything happening. Oh, God bless you. God bless you real good. Thank you. Okay, uh, all right. I'll call you. Bye. Yeah, yeah, you need this. Oh my goodness, exactly what I need right now. Um, I need to cool off a bit. <laughs> I heard you talking to someone about your sick mother. Guess she's all right now, right? Which sick mother? My your mama is sick, I be your papa is sick. Uh -uh. Which oh, sick? <laughs> hmm. But the way I heard you talking on phone, like you were almost crying. <laughs> God have mercy. Cindy. Truly? Yeah. No, for real, you believe that story? Hmm. Honestly, I believed. My mama don't die. Uh, Cindy, my mother died a long time ago. That story was just for him to, you know, cough out some money to me and it worked. Really? Yes. <laughs> really. <laughs> Honestly, I am impressed. Thank you. I mean, these folks are easily moved by emotional stories. Mm -hmm. Just tell them something, something emotional. And the next thing, they fill you up with sympathy. And I got $30,000. Wow. Just like that. For my mama, oh, <laughs> the one we don't die since. Honestly, <laughs> we need to celebrate. But of course we need to celebrate. <laughs> I might just use this money for her funeral. Or maybe remembrance. Or even her <laughs> birthday. <Yeah. laughs> Please get me a bottle of champagne. Okay. Mm -hmm. You run this one. Oh. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is good. <laughs> You're welcome. What? Do I look like I'm smiling? <clears throat> I'm surprised with you all ladies that make up a man of God. Don't you know you're bringing causes upon yourselves? <sighs> to me, Nicholas Ibe is not a man of God. He's just a businessman who discovered how to make money with religion. Come on, he's just catching crews with the whole situation, you know. <laughs> and someone like that. I mean, a man with that kind of mentality is the one you want to spend the rest of your life with? I'm tired. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Melane. Don't tell me you don't like opulence. Opulence, you say? Something that could backfire someday and leave me in shame? Oh, please. <laughs> opulence is not my thing. And why are you attaching yourself with a man that uses religion to make money? <laughs> Listen, in the world where we live now, huh? nobody is really bothered on how you make the money. What matters is, 
Make the money. <laughs> Daddy just say. And you think that guy has the kind of money you need to misbehave as a woman? I think you will have to connect to our Thursday morning devotion. Yes. <laughs> you need to see the way people all over the country comes to pay offerings, tithes, all in the name of seeking the face of God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Steve. Nicholas Ebe oh. is cashing out. And I'm stuck with him. Yeah. See, I don't even know what to tell you. Because I see you've made up your mind on this. Oh, please, Jesus. Yeah. Hi. I have. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I've missed this so much. Oh, <laughs> Nick, my man. Hey. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Prophet Jude. <laughs> Prophet Jude. Good to see you, bro. What's up, man? You look good. Get ready, That's fine. Please see. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick. Uh, uh, Is this you? Uh, uh. <laughs> Prophet Jude. I did. It has been ages. Yes, yeah, so. Ngozi. Ngozi. Sir. Come. Please, what do you offer? What do we offer? Um, maybe a glass of water. Okay. Glass of water. From the Jew. Big me. Good to see you again. How, man, how, how long are you staying in Nigeria? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, maybe three months. I have my hotel room booked already, so I decided to come and see my good time friend. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't want something to drink? No, the water, the water is fine. Okay. <laughs> so how is madame? Which madame? <laughs> Nick Nick <laughs> Prophet Jude Nick my brother Prophet Jude Nick my brother <laughs> What's the king when you make this money without a peace of mind? Prophet Jude. <laughs> my man. Nick, my brother. Come, let me show you around town. So where are you taking me to? Don't worry, just follow me. In fact, I'm going to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to change something. Uh, is it necessary? Yeah. Alright. Can't go like this. I'll be waiting outside. Alright.
Come on, I'll find out. How did I end up here? You were too drunk to drive yesterday. So I drove you home. But I could not carry a big man like you upstairs. So I decided to put you here. Thanks, man. Thanks. But seriously, Nick, we have to stop this. We're not getting any younger. At least by now, we should be thinking of settling down. Don't forget you're a man of God. I know, I know. It's just that the time is not right. If you say so. But let me advise you. Whenever you are ready to settle down, make sure you marry a lady who is God-fearing and kind. Someone who is spiritual to an extent. Not a wayward person like you. When I mean wayward, somebody who is completely canal. It is you that is wayward and canal. Get out of this place. Nick, Nick. I told you yesterday you should take it easy. You didn't listen. Now look at yourself. And I'll see you later. Let me get something. Go. I have received privileged messages on the activities of these pastors. And from what I know, this one <clears throat> is the best man for the job. Mm. I know this guy. He's very charismatic. He has one of the online booming ministries right now that many ladies tune into. You seem to know a lot about this one. Yeah. I heard he's a ladies' man. And he clubs often. Mm. The fact that he clubs shouldn't be a reason for us to conclude that he'll be gained. Many of these millennium pastors are night crawlers and they get to sleep with the best of babes. Hola. I am not interested in anyone's personal life. I am majorly concerned about his huge presence online. We've got work to do. I need you all to get me any information. I mean anything you can get on this young man. Okay. And Excuse me. Yes, what is it? It's okay. Someone will get to the gate. Okay, so guys, I have some very important visitors. I need you all to maintain. Okay, Very we surely do that. Well, well, well. So what's going on here? Uh. We are here to return this money. It's your sister's money. We know the procedure. That is why the money is not in the bank. Um, and then we, we also want to apologize um, if we if we said anything unpleasant about your sister. You know, your, your sister is our boss and will always be our boss. Yes. We have no reason to, you know, to attack her in any way. Yes. Yeah. The money is 30 million naira. Mm. A very huge amount of money. Yes. Yeah. You apologize, sir. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. Um, we are just being stupid. Especially my guy, Brad, here. We wouldn't have been where we are today without the impact of your sister. So we are deeply sorry for everything that happened. Please, yes, forgive us. All right. 
Apology accepted. Thank you. Um, Not so fast. Get ready, we'll be going to the prison to see Clara. labor market. <laughs> Alright. Peacemakers. Now let's start from here. Where is my money? I have your money. They brought it to me. Where's my money? Uh, uh, we know. We are going to bring the remaining part of the money to your, to your sister. Did you hear that? That is just 20% of the money you owe me. Where is the rest? Look, listen to me, you two. I want my money in full before I leave this place. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Uh, we don't hear it, but, uh, but you know, since, since you left, business has not been moving fast, yes, yes. not been fair to us, you understand? Yes. So uh, we're just, you know, trying, hustling to make up something, you know, it's not been really easy. Yes. Yeah. As as you as shut as up and call me that, shut up, just close that your dirty mouth. Do you know how much I hate lies? We are not lying. As an as an archaeology, since we are not around, the many things they happen. But we will report to her on how we are going to give pay back the remaining part of money. Yes. Mama, uh, I beg, na devu, na devu, we and work a bit. We we also want to uh, apologize for not coming here to visit you. Uh, yes. Yes. The money was too much. Okay. Yeah. 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 She will oh, see yes, you about the business while you two work on how to recover my money. Really? It's okay, boss. It's okay. We'll, 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 we'll make it up, all right? I think you have a choice. It's okay. Let it be. Thank you, sir. You can stand up. Thank you. So, Pastor, in my dream, I was walking on the way when a handsome young man stopped me. Oh. When I tried to meet him, a masquerade from nowhere appeared and started chasing me. Oh. The masquerade kept on chasing me to the extent that I fell. I thought maybe he flogged me. The next thing, he started sucking my breast. The masquerade started sucking your breast? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rata Sindiri Bokayash. Raka Sabra. Rata Sindiriya. The Almighty God just ministered to me. 
the handsome man in your dream is your husband to be destined by God. The masquerade sucking your breast in the dream is your spiritual husband that is trying to stop you from seeing your destined husband. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Am Amen. I communicating? Yes, Pastor. Lose my fire. Let's not listen real good. For me to deliver you from the shackles of that spiritual husband of yours, I have to suck your breast. I need to unsuck all the demons he deposited in your breast. Yes. Rasuriba sentera zei kusura bande sintaya kusura. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, yes. you mean like suck my breast, like I should remove my clothes, undress my myself? Don't you want to get married? No, I want to get married. Myself. Undress for total cleansing. If you're not ready, you leave here. I'm no, trying to no help sir, you. No, What's sir. special about your Sorry, books? sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, Santa Rabasha. No, no, no. Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, stop. No, no, no. You really need to stop this. This is our workplace. And if it's our workplace, I, I cannot get to an ordinary case. Huh? Come on. I know you. If I kiss you, it will definitely lead to something else. And I am not ready for that, please. Baby, who are you scared of? Eh, Queen is not even in the house. Come on. And uh, so, is that enough reason for us to start messing around here? We can do better. Listen, if I kiss you, it will definitely lead to something. You know I've come to like you so much. So, baby, if we have to do this, we need to do it in the right place. How about that? Come on, babe. Thank you. Frost us in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith, misleading the people. They don't know nothing is hidden under the sun. They don't know. They don't know. No secret is meant to last forever. Yeah. They don't know nothing is hidden under the sun that cannot be unveiled. <laughs> I, I want to convert her. Convert her. Born again Christian now. I'm sure she's not a born again, so let me convert her. No, she doesn't look like a believer. I don't uh, think she'll believe you. Watch me now. She won't understand the man of God hitting at her. Leave her. My guy. Watch me. I'm All a right. playboy man of God. <laughs> Don't forget. Let me see you do the magic. Okay, now. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Hi. I must confess, you are mysteriously beautiful. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's some beautiful lines you have there. Thank you. You're welcome. I will go straight to the point. I love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So is that every line you use for every woman you meet on the first day? No. Don't misinterpret my love. I'm talking about the love of Christ. My name is Senior Pastor Nick the General Overseer of Divine Assembly of Smiling Faces Ministry. Mm. Yes, we have a strong social media presence and I have a few days crusade. I'm inviting you to my ministry. If you can't come one-on-one, -on -one, you can turn in online. Hmm. This is nice. Thanks for the invite, but I don't go to church. Why? That's because I'm not a Christian. 
I see. I'm a Muslim. Ah, ah. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, making sense. Can I have your number? Please don't say no. You should have gone straight to the point. I like men who say it as it is. No side shooting. Hits the point. Playboy pasta. <laughs> I'll give you my number. Catch it. Okay. Mm. Zero. Nine zero. Okay. Three six. Seven seven. Mm -hmm. Six four. Eight two. So, when can I call you? Twelve midnight. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bills on me. Oh, that's cool. And thanks for the drink once more. You're welcome. I don't convert her. <laughs> <laughs> You're born a soul for Christ. <laughs> I don't convert her. She's not a born again Christian. You <laughs> will. <laughs> she is. Gracias. Lady Anne, Ma. I mean, it's surprising how you make difficult things look so easy. If you hadn't told me that the sight of our business was the problem, I wouldn't have even thought about it. I told you, madam, now everything is sorted out and we are in business. Mm. There is no dull moment. All I'm saying is forward ever. Hey, that was a good one. No, <laughs> it was a good one. And I wish. Um, excuse me. Yes, hello. This is Pastor Nick, the general overseer and founder of Divine Assembly of Smiling Faces Ministry. Do you really want to know the truth, sir? You talk too much. That means you cost it. How? Because people complain I barely talk. So if I'm now a talkative, that means you are the cause. You're really funny. So tell me, how is my talking pastor doing today? I'm blessed. Please, I want to ask for a favor. Don't say no. Okay, but I would want to hear what the request is. Promise you, I won't be harsh. Okay. I want to invite you for a special dinner in my house. Whoa! Are you by any means asking me out? Well, yes. I'm asking you out. <laughs> Apparently, you already know a lot about a lot. So I'll oblige you the dinner. When? Today. Or is it too sudden? Mm -mm. It's okay. Today is fine. Thank you very much. I'll come and pick you up myself. Just send me your address, okay? Permit me to say this, Pastor. You are a playboy pastor. <laughs> Coming from you, there's no problem. <laughs> All right then. I'll send you my Google location. Thank you very much. You are blessed. <sighs> now what is that smile? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wish I can spend the night here. And who says you cannot? Come on, you have to understand the fact that you're now my girlfriend. I need to get used to it. Sometimes the way you talk leaves me so confused. So I should spend the night here and lose my job. Is that what you're saying? Why are you so scared of Queen? I mean, she's a woman like you. Yes, she is a woman like me. But it would be so stupid of me to admit that we are equal. Oh, come on. Stop talking like that, Cindy. Stop talking like that. You're even better than her. God has blessed you with something mightier than ten queens put together. 
<laughs> Sammy, I think we need to get this straight. Listen, for the fact that you have come to enjoy my powerhouse, it's something that is personal to you. And whatsoever feeling we have for each other cannot be translated into money. Queen has been the one providing us with all the structures we need in making money. So she deserves all the respect. And have we not been respecting her? No, have we not? We have. The reason you shouldn't suggest I spend the night here, because you know it will not go down well with her. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> wow. The beautiful one who showcases beauty in a mysterious way. <laughs> you. Your use of language should be studied as a curse in campuses, seriously. Yeah, welcome to my small mansion. What? No, I didn't hear that clearly. Wait, what, what did you say? This? You call a small mansion? Yes, it's small for me. Oh, well. Maybe we should exchange houses. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> You're welcome. Please feel at home, okay? Thank you very much. Meanwhile, I am mad at you. What did I do? When I agreed to this date, you promised to come pick me up yourself. But then you sent your driver instead. Why is that? My bad. I was cooking for the date. <laughs> so I had to send my driver. Wait a minute. You cook? Mm-hmm. Don't you have a cook in this house? I do, but someone special is coming, so I decided to do the cooking myself. Your use of words. Very nice. Anyways, where's the way to the kitchen? I could assist you. I'm a very good cook myself. Don't worry. I don't want us to share the credits. Ah. The food is almost <laughs> done, so relax. I will soon serve us food, okay? Okay. That's fine. Meanwhile, what will you drink? Um, red wine is fine. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Nice place you got, really. Thank you very, very much. Mm. Mysterious <laughs> So how is it? I'm waiting. Rate the food. Well, it's good. If I will give you a pass mark, I would um, give you a nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I prepared this food in a hurry. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you gave me nine over ten. That means if I come down and prepare something sumptuous, you will give me 100 over 10. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Please, don't even flatter yourself. Mm, don't. No, but truthfully, it's nice. Really, really nice. I'm, I'm surprised. Good. I'm glad you like it. You want some? Of course, I do. Okay. Back time, yeah. Oh, I can see we're having a feast, yeah? Of course. Okay. <laughs> gang gang. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't like that. Really, I don't like anyone crying. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm for real though. If you do it again, I won't eat. I won't. Gang oh my gang. goodness, what's it? <laughs> okay, I won't do it again. Uh-uh, I'm not eating. I'm sorry. No, don't worry, it's fine. I'll I'm feed sorry, myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's the last time. Yes. 
for the last time. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you could actually make this. It's, it's amazing. Was in faith, frost ice in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith. It's laid in the people. They don't know, nothing is hidden under the sun. They don't know, they don't know, no secret is meant to last forever. They don't know. Nothing is hidden under the sun that cannot be unveiled. Just one day. Stars in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith. It's laid in the people. They don't know, nothing is hidden under the sun. They don't know, they don't know, no secret is meant to last forever. They don't know, nothing is hidden under the sun that cannot be unveiled. Just one day.
Oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you know the funny thing, yeah? Mm. Anyone who sees you anchoring that program online will never know that you are a beast in bed. I mean, they will never know that you are a woman killer. I can't even remember the last time anybody did this to me. You're killing me softly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm not joking. Everything I said is the truth. Like right now, I don't even know where to get the strength to go back home. And who says you're going home? Hmm? <laughs> Were you really expecting me to spend the night here? I have morning Thursday devotions every Thursday. And tomorrow is Thursday. That's why I'm telling you this. You will be my special guest. You will have the opportunity to say something to millions of my followers who will tune in from all over the world. <laughs> you know, all your pastors just have a way of confusing me. You bring a lady home, sleep with her at night, mm. and then in the morning, you do your online devotion with millions of followers listening. On top of that, you want to bring the babe you slept with the previous night to say hi to your followers. Are you being serious? I'm giving you that privilege because you're special to me and because of what you will soon represent in my life. Oh, please, don't even make me laugh this moment. I mean, we only just got to know ourselves. Are you already talking about me representing something in your life? There are some things you shouldn't say to a lady in my class. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning I'm going to buy you guys Rolls Royce each. Hello? <laughs> um, get to men. I have an order to arrest you for internet fraud, money laundering, runaway. Run away. Run away. Stop that! Stop! If you move. If you move, I'll blow your brains to pieces. Stop, get down on your knees. On your knees. On your knees. Don't fuck with me. On your knees. Bad man. If you move, shut up. I said shut up. Are you ready to talk now? Are you ready to talk? You have something to Profit when you gain the world and then you lose your soul. What's the gain when you make this money without a peace of mind? Yeah. Hey, Pastor. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How was your night? My night was fine, and yes. Mine was awesome. Can we do this more often? Well, mm, yes we can. As long as you can keep it a secret. I will. You sure you can do that for nights? Mm. Why do people smoke when it kills? <laughs> mm. Smoking doesn't only kill you. Every other thing kills humans, including what we had last night. The only thing you need to do as a human being is human moderation. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. So what happened? I mean, you told me you were going to wake me up to join you in your morning devotion. Today's Thursday. And I said it was fine because I already rehearsed what I was going to say to your followers in my dreams. Really? So what happened? Yes. 
Well, I thought about what you said and lost the zeal to preach. That's so sad. You mean your followers lost out on the morning devotion because of me? No, uh, they didn't. I asked Pastor Taribu to handle that. Why? Baby, listen. I'm saying this because you're my girl. Okay. I'm not a real pastor. Boom. Pastor Taribu is a real man of God. <laughs> I'm in this business for money. It's a good thing you are the one saying this. <laughs> so you were saying something yesterday about your house being too small. You wanted something bigger. Yes, I love space. I need a befitting mansion that has a um, swimming pool. We have like 36 states in this country. Mm -hmm. I need to own that in about um, 30 states. I also need a private jet as a pastor. Yes, and um, I need to be a billionaire in all currencies of the world. <laughs> so what are you doing about it? I'm working towards it by looking for money at all costs. So what you're saying in a sense is that you don't have money? I have money, but it can't get these things I mentioned. Okay. I don't really get money like that. I do inside they do. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Congratulations on being broke, Pastor Nick. But not to worry. You make money. There's some... Oh, sorry. <sighs> yes, hello. What? Okay, I'm on my way. Nobody should say a thing, okay? All right, bye. I yeah. have to go now. Are you okay? Um, What's up? Nothing happened. I'll call you. Okay? What is going on here? You can't enter my house or didn't you ask questions? If you keep quiet, you know why we're here. Excuse me. I am a law-abiding citizen. You don't talk to me like that. These are my friends and you are embarrassing us. I'm afraid you have to come with us to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's office. Why, if I may ask? When you get there, you will know the reason why. Really? Yes. Sir, the house is clean. Oh. The only thing we found is this pack of used condom and cigarette. Mm. Yeah. So, also, this damaged phone was recovered from one of the rooms. Oh, really? Yes. And of course, there are some alcoholic drinks in the fridge. Are you sure? Very sure, sir. We did a thorough sweep of the whole house. And uh, the house is clean. But we still need to take this phone to the office for proper forensic investigation. That's right. I'll tell you something for free. Mm. The phone you have there is a damaged phone used by my gates man, an aboki from Chad. Trust me, you wouldn't find anything in that phone. You will be wasting your time trying to get information. Madam, allow us to waste our time. It's none of your business. All right, enough of the talk. We have to go to the office right now. Well, I won't move an inch until you release my friends. Oh. Release them. Let's talk. So shall we. Um. I'm afraid I have to cough you. No, you wouldn't put that thing on me. You are not going to teach me my job. I have to cough you. Can I have your hands, please? Give me your hands. No, no, stop, please. Madam, stay back. Excuse me, you didn't find any stay evidence back, on that. Madam. Why are you treat her like a criminal when she's not? Excuse me. You all should calm down. This will be sorted out. No, I, I, see me. Hello, madam. Calm down. She gets full of You want us to take you along? Now move. Move. Don't Cindy, move. take care of my bag. Okay. Stay back. It's 
You know the reason you were brought in for questioning? No, I don't. We have been on your trail for months. For the past few months, we have put you under surveillance. I don't know why you are doing that. I am not a criminal. You are an international fraudster. You steal for a living. You and your cohorts, your gang, You got into my house and did a search, didn't you? Even when you didn't have the right to do so. Did you find anything incriminating? We're still investigating. But we know for sure that you are into crime. <laughs> Funny thing is that you have been calling me an international fraud star. That is character assassination. And I can sue you for that. Madam, you and I know you are a thief. An international one at that. In fact, you should be awarded a medal for the amount of money you've been able to amass through fraud. I am not a thief. Stop calling me a thief. So who are you? A business woman. I run a boutique. If you did your investigation so well, you would know that I am a businesswoman. Mm, I mm. see, I see. But I will advise you. You have to stop all those criminal activities you perfect on the internet. But if you persist, I will nail you. And when I catch you, I'll make sure I throw you in jail and you will rot in jail. Did you hear me? Can I go now? Let me do my job. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. Uh, it's the other of the day now. They have a lot of information on me. How come they know so much? Hey, hey, yahoo, 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 oh. yahoo. What's the profit when you gain the world and then you lose your soul? What's the gain when you make this money without a peace of mind? Get me a glass of water and my cigarette. Right there, ma'am. I'm dehydrated. Oh, Jesus. I have been dead worried. So, so tell us, what did they do to you? But of course, they couldn't have done anything to me. They asked a few questions about what we do. I denied. And that's it. By the way, who hid the laptop? I did. Hmm. You did? Yes. Did you know they were coming? Yes. Alice called me to inform me. He said he tried the number, but it was switched off. Alex. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, As a woman. Um, Queen, I think it's high time we stopped this fraud thing. Eh? I don't want to go to prison, oh. Sammy, are you kidding me? Sammy, I am this close. I mean, this close to getting that money. This is the biggest cash I will be making in this business. The biggest. This is my problem with frosters. Yeah? You guys are too greedy. You're too Shut greedy. The hell up. I am not an internet froster. Then what are you? 
I am a businesswoman. I own a boutique. Or have you forgotten? The money you have made is enough to feed you and your next generation if managed properly. Eh? We need to stop this. It's time we stop it. This is the same thing I, I, the same issue I had with my friends John and Jim. Jim. Now they're in prison. Because they refuse to stop when I ask them to do. And the, by the time the law caught up on them, it was too late. We need to stop. It's okay, Sammy. I've heard you. I promise. I'll stop after this. Is that okay? How close are you with getting Pastor Nick to work for you? Mm. That is the question I have been expecting. I am this close. So close. By the way, seeing the money don't drop. They entered yesterday. Ah! Wow. You didn't want me. <laughs> I mean, you didn't want Jesus, me. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, my thank God the money did not drop. Oh. These guys actually went through my bank details. What if they had seen that money? What did I want to talk? And my client paid yesterday. You don't know why Satan. No, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is good news. I mean, I'm so excited. For why didn't you tell me in time? I wanted to before this incident occurred. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, Benny, how far? When the money they drop? In five days, uh -uh. when it comes, you get your court as usual. Why are you the talk small, small? This is good! She will see it everywhere now. The FCC don't move. Who's the EFCC? They won't catch. They won't catch. They don't see where they catch, please. You never get enough money, Rich. It's okay. Guys, I said it's okay. I said it's okay. Until you guys get corrupted by the officers of the law. Oh, 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 Nothing. Another escape just now. Hear what she said. Rest. You too fear. No, be my wife. Yeah. As in the sea. Time we turn a new leaf. Oh, I've seen faith. Unbelieving believers. Yeah. All repentant fellows leading the people of God. Was in faith, frost us in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith, enslaved in the peace. I already asked you to sit, so why are you still standing? Do you ever ponder the effect of your lifestyle on the body of Christ? I wonder why you keep doing things that will weaken the gospel of salvation. Where is all this coming from? I told you that I was not fit to lead the Thursday morning devotion, which I asked you to handle. And you did an excellent job, so what is it? Are you sure you were truly converted in the first place? Because I wonder why you keep living in sin and you are not showing any remorse. Pastor Taribu, the girl in question is my wife-to-be. I've told you about her. That should be what we are supposed to be discussing. But no, you are always here to remind me that I'm a sinner, that I'm a sinner. Who are you to judge? Nicholas, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory. But that doesn't mean we should continue wallowing in sin. Who told you I'm wallowing in sin? I am not. Having a companion is not wallowing in sin. The Bible says, go ye into the world and multiply. Will I multiply only me? Of all the women in the body of Christ, I mean, of all the faithful ladies we have in the ministry, is this one an unbeliever? Who has decided to throw herself at you that you have chosen to make your wife? Pastor Nicholas, what is wrong with you? Watch your utterances, Pastor Taribu. That woman in question is the love of my life. She is my choice. She understands that this ministry needs money. We are compatible. 
her ideology matches mine. She is the kind of girl that fits into my brand of evangelism. Do you now understand? An unbeliever? An unbeliever who is not even baptized in the Holy Spirit is the one you said fits into your brand of evangelism. If I may ask, what brand of evangelism is that? Good. For example, I want to be the most powerful pastor of our generation. Yes, and that includes owning a private jet. The day I shared that dream with you, you said it's impossible that I should use the money and, and, and uh, I can't even remember what you said. But when I shared that same dream with my wife-to-be, she was happy. She was moving towards that direction. She understands that we need a private jet. You see? So our dream is similar. For that reason, we are compatible and she understands the ministry. You see how she fits into my brand of evangelism. If you will listen to me, Pastor Nicholas, take some time off the ministry. Seek the face of God. Pray and fast. Carnality is overtaking you and we need to knock it down immediately. If fasting is the only way you revive your spirit, that means you are a baby Christian. Yes. I have many ways to revive my spirit. And as we speak, I am fully recharged. That's my baby girl. That's my woman. Please, please behave yourself. I repeat, Oga, behave yourself. Behave yourself. Minister, please, this is Apple. Manage it. Kami, can you just let go of this Apple and allow me to deal with this matter? A supposed man of God asked you to undress for him to suckle on your breast and you agree to him. Why wouldn't I agree? I mean, didn't you hear of the evil dreams that I had that led to it? What is wrong with today's Christianity? Why are you all so vulnerable that you cannot even use your common sense? Millicent, I didn't call you here for you to condemn me. I am telling you this. I am sharing this with you because you are my friend and a devoted Christian. I am sorry, Kami. I am not judging you, and I will not judge you. Baby girl, it's just that I am not happy. He said the Lord revealed it to him that those masquerades, they visited demons in me, and those demons needed to be sucked out. Oh, this is so disgusting! It didn't just end there. He succeeded in turning me on, and there he took me to his room, and then he did what? Don't tell me you both made out. Everything happened so fast that still I am trying to understand what happened. But to be honest with you, this young man handled me the way no man has ever did and I kept on wishing that he was my husband. Now I can confirm why the demons are playing Ludo on your head, Kami. A man of God saw a beautiful woman and he took advantage of her, that's it. Millicent, what do I do? What am I going to do? Because right now, I am still having the same dreams. More than the way it happened before. It's as if the man didn't do anything. It's as if he added more demons into me. Means you did not even believe he did anything. Baby girl, you need a real man of God to pray for you. That's what I need. A real man of God. But where do I find this man of God? Because I don't want those useless masquerades to wow. rape me or have anything to do with me again. God, come in. What is it? Like you don't know why I'm looking at you. I mean, 
I don't like the way your friend was looking at me when he was leaving. He was looking at me like one debased woman or something. What did you say to him? Don't worry about that. Since Pastor Taribu found out why I missed Thursday morning devotion, he has been seeing me as a demon. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not what I'm talking about because that young man was not looking at you. He was looking at me instead. And I wasn't comfortable with that. Maybe he was sizing you up because I told him I want to make you my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Nick. You see the reason I call you a comedian? How can you even tell him that? But I'm serious. But that can't be possible. You just wake up one morning and present a strange woman to your members as your wife. Does that even make any sense to you? Listen, we are in business together. Yes. And very soon I will make too much money and buy my private jet. Mm. So let's achieve this first. Then you can move. I still don't understand why you are moving so fast. How do you explain this to your members is what I am asking. How? I do not owe them any explanation. I'm the one getting married and no one can question my decision. Okay. Nick, I choose to disagree with you. Why? These are women who give you money on a daily basis. I'm sure they sleep, eat, drink and think that you are going to marry one of them. How do you wake up one morning and present a strange woman to them? How do you even want them to see me? When we get to that bridge, we will cross it. Trust me, it's not a problem. Even if it is, I can handle it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatever it is that is discouraging now, we cross it right now in Jesus' name. Father, whatever the obstacle is, by the power in your name, by the power of the resurrected Jesus Christ, I command it to bow. I command it to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Lekabaso torebo, lekatorebo shaba baba, makale de de de, barakatoso ro, re baba baba baba, makale godoro. In the name of Jesus Christ, we know this prayer is answered. Father, we thank you because you hear us. Whenever we call you, you answer us. Father, take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sister Kami, have your seat, please. Thank you, Pastor. There is something I want to ask you if you don't mind. Okay, Pastor. Did you see any pastor before me? Yes, sir, I did. Who did you see? Um, his name is Pastor Nick. Did he pray for you? Yes, sir, he did, but I don't want to talk about it. I totally understand. But I would like you to know that Pastor Nicholas is not a true man of God. So you don't need to tell me, because after my encounter with him, I stopped following his online programs. What he claims to be is not who he is. It is well, my sister, I say. Um, I don't want you to feel discouraged. Don't allow anybody make you hate the gathering of the brethren. As it stands now, we need the Holy Spirit of God so we can stand properly. Don't allow your faith to be shaken. Yes, Pastor. I am so filled with the Holy Spirit right now that I'm very happy deep down inside my heart. Hallelujah. That Amen. is very good to hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Kami, have you given your life to Christ? You need to do that. Let me have your hands. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -uh. Prophet Jude. Here is risen code. Prophet Jude. How you doing now? Yankee Boga, how far now? All is well. How you doing now? 
I'm blessed, I'm blessed. God is at work. Other side now. This is the way you remember me today. I hope all is well. All is well. It's been long we spoke, so I decided to call you to hear from you. And I'm happy you are doing okay. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Nice one. How is Queen? Or have you forgotten her name? You are right, Queen is fine. That's good to hear. I will propose to her soon. I want to marry her, and guess what? You will be my best man. Have you proposed to her and she said yes? No, I've not proposed to her yet, but I have everything planned out. Wow. Prophet Jude. My guy. Oh, I've seen faith. Unbelieving believers. Oh. Yeah. All repentant fellows leading the people of God. Oh, yes. Hello, Mr. John. I have good news for you. Well, I'm just coming from the hospital and I'm glad to announce to you that my mother is doing just fine. The doctor says that she's going to make it. Thank you so much, Mr. John. Thank you. I mean, this wouldn't have been possible without your immense contribution. Thank you very much. Okay? Oh my goodness! Mr. John! You're sending me more money to buy her food? Oh, Mr. John, you are such an angel. Thank you. And then, uh, one more thing. Um, the, the pastor is back from his mission work. I've arranged so that the both of you can have a talk um, sometime later this week. If that is okay by you. Oh, of course, of course. That is perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. John. I mean, I can't stop thanking you. You don't know what you did for me. Thank you so much for your immense contribution. I want to say a little prayer for you. My God will bless you beyond comprehension. He will enlarge your coast and reach you with more money as you continue to bless and to help people with, your, with, with millions of dollars. As you sow seeds in various African communities, God will bless you. God will provide more for you so you can help more people. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. Who is Zuzu? Wahala dear. Ah. Mm. Who is my next target? What's the profit when you gain the world and then you lose yourself? What's the game when you make this money without a peace of mind? That's not the voice I was expecting. Please give me that your sexy voice that melts my heart. You know, it's done on me that you are not part of the sense. Why do you keep calling me? Where is this coming from? Who have you been listening to? Pastor Nick or whatever you call yourself, I have forgiven you for what you did to me. And that's on the condition that you will stay away from me. If you continue hitting at me, I will make sure I come for you. And I'll, you will be made to dance to the music. Baby K, relax. Relax. Don't forget you're talking to a man of God. Have you forgotten what we shared together? You can't just discharge me like that. I am not dismissing you because we had something. There was nothing between us in the first place. Stop calling me. Or I will be forced to brief the police. Baby, relax. Stop threatening me with the police. Okay, now imagine being my wife. A wife of a powerful pastor. Think about it. Wife to who? Don't you think it will be an awesome experience if we become husband and wife? 
happen. God forbid. I reject you. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I will never marry you. I will never be your wife. Stop calling me devil. She sounded as if someone briefed her. Who could that be? Was the king when you make this money without a peace of mind? Fantastic. I opened my mouth and as usual, the hmm. power of the Holy Ghost came down. Wow. Lives were touched. Oh my goodness. Many were healed. Oh my goodness. That is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, are you hungry? No. Um, the Lord is my strength. I will never eat again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a madman, I swear. Why would there, that no, be no, there is something wrong with you. Okay. After shouting for three hours. <laughs> why would that be hungry? Alright, that's fine. You know what we're going to do now? You're going to go upstairs. Okay. Take this off the sexy body of yours. Okay. Have a cold bath. Come down here, your food will be served at that time. And after the meal, your other meal will be waiting for you in the other room. Wow. Mm. In the other room. In the other room, baby. In the other room. In the other room. In the other room. In the other room. In the other room, In the other room baby. Okay. <laughs> You're a crazy pastor. What's in faith? Trust us in the sanctuary. Making mockery of the Christian faith. is leading the people. They don't know. Nothing is hidden under the sun. You are the best cook in the world. I know. <laughs> Don't mind oh. me, that was a joke. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I passed your boutique today. Oh. It's like you've restocked. Yes, I did. But I'm really surprised. I didn't know you were that observant. <laughs> One day I will pay you a surprise visit. You're joking, right? I mean every word of it. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. I didn't know you could be this sweet. No. <laughs> Are you blushing? I'm bl I don't know I'm blushing. <laughs> Man of God is blushing. Man of God is blushing. <laughs> You want more meat? No, no, I'm fine for now. Okay. <laughs> okay.
What are you saying? Listen, feel free. I'm a pastor. Pastors don't judge people. Okay, I need to... I need you to listen to me attentively. I told you I'm a businesswoman, right? That's not all. I am a con artist as well. What do you mean by you are a con artist? The thing is I am... Um, I trick people into collecting money from them. Yes. I have a networking service where we make thousands of dollars every month. You may not know this. And that is because I do not flaunt my take-ins. I don't show off buying of expensive cars, throwing off money in the air when I attend any party. But honestly, I am superior to most of them. What am I supposed to do with this information? Since you said you want to make me your wife, I only thought it wise that you hear it from me directly instead of hearing it from an outsider. Listen, I want you on this because of your huge presence online. I... I need you to talk to a man, a white man who I need to collect some money from. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that you dupe people for a living? Like, you're a fraudster. You're into Yahoo Yahoo. You're a Yahoo girl. Blood of Jesus. Why are you Jesus in? Blood of Jesus. Can you just stop screaming for goodness sake, Nick? I mean, I haven't said anything wrong here. Really? Yes. So defrauding people for a living is nothing wrong? I don't see any problem in that. Well, that's a big sin. That sin is against God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. That yes. sin is sinning. Wow. <laughs> it's so good that you can actually recognize the sin. You call me a sinner. Well, I'll tell you, you are a bigger sinner. How? After all, you have been sleeping with me on this bed. Am I your wife? That's a different ball game from defrauding people. Wow. Yes, that's a baby sin. <laughs> all I do is smoke once in a while, take alcohol, make love to a girl. That's a baby sin. But defrauding people for a living, scamming people. No, that sin is sinning. There is nothing sinning about it. Listen, there's no amount of chocolate or vanilla you use in trying to coat this. A sin is a sin. I am not your wife. We are not legally or lawfully married. Listen, let's just cut this off. This is not what I'm here to talk about. I need you to do this for me. It's very important. Or oh, when I said we were going to get a private jet this year, did you, were you thinking it was money from your church? Or money from my business? No. Okay. So what do you want me to do? Boom! This is the question I have been waiting for. Okay, listen. I have a well-structured NGO that takes care of poor masses in Africa, Nigeria to be precise. All I need you to do is just to sit and talk to this man. Tell him that you heard this of an home, that you are our spiritual advisor. I mean, just talk him into giving us this money. He is a philanthropist and he's ready to help people in Nigeria suffering. So you want me to use my social media influence and dupe someone? It is not duping. It is taking. Come on, these people have lots of money to spend. Okay, how much are we talking about? It's going to shock you. We are talking about $3 million, which was the initial amount I told him. What? Mm-hmm. $3 million. And now, I have increased it to five million dollars so you see if you do the right thing say the right things this man 
we will drop the money. They see things going on in Africa. They see how much we suffer. They know we need this money. I just need you to see the right things at the right time. Boom. This man will give us the money. Five million dollars. You heard me right. With five million dollars, mm -hmm. thou shalt not kill is no longer a sin. Of course it is no longer a sin. And thou shalt not commit fornication is no longer a sin. All living believers, yeah. All repentant fellows leading the people of God. Was in faith. Frost us in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith, as leading the people. Leading now, nothing is hidden under the sun. I'm surprised it took you this long to realize Nicholas Ekbe is not. The minister of the gospel. Oh, my dear. You cannot blame me. I'm not blaming you, my lord. You know I cannot blame you. Just that the handwriting was written boldly on the wall for everyone to see. Yet, you ignored all the warnings. You see, that is because I kept hoping he would change. The only thing he needs is to accept Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. Then we'll see if he could be baptized in the Holy Spirit. You see, where I have a problem is this. A man who has not encountered the resurrected Christ is leading people to Christ every day. It's a problem. My Lord, Nicholas is not leading anyone to Christ. It's unfortunate we have a Pentecostal fellowship in Nigeria that cannot discipline these criminals, parading themselves as ministers of the gospel, thereby making the evangelical work so difficult. Boma, how are you? You're already at the gate? Fantastic. Don't worry, my wife is coming to the gate to bring you in. Okay. Let me quickly get it. Let me clear this place out. Okay. Wolves in faith, unbelieving believers, yeah. All repentant fellows leading the people of God. Wolves in faith, frost us in the sanctuary, making mockery of the Christian faith, misleading the people. They don't know. Nothing is hidden under the sun. They don't know. They don't know. No secret is meant to last forever. Yeah. They don't know. Nothing is hidden under the sun. He's not picking my toes. So you mean you do not understand what is glaring? <laughs> that guy has used you and dumped you. What don't you get? No. He cannot use and dump me. That's why I'm carrying his child. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? You have been to his house more than three times and his security will not let you in. You have called his number more than 50 times and he wouldn't take your calls. You have sent him text messages countless times and he would not reply any. <laughs> hey, this girl, you need to open your eyes. He has moved on. Oh. This is not happening. This is not happening to me. Why is Nick doing this to me? Why? Oh God, I don't want to have an abortion. It's calling. I don't know what to do. Chantel, I am not asking you to abort the pregnancy either. Nurture this pregnancy, have the baby, and take care of your child. And don't mind that foolish so-called man of God. It's not worth your tears, okay? I'm here for you. Why is he doing this to me? It's okay. It's okay, don't cry. Thank you very much, sir. Anytime, my son. 
Boma, you sounded so excited on the phone. What could be the reason? Um, I have this um, wonderful program for the church. It's a musical program and I would love if it is titled Gospel Fiesta. Wow. It's a nice one. I like Thank it you, already. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Where did you get such an inspiration from? <laughs> so, um, I would say it is an inspiration from the Holy Spirit. Exactly. Very interesting. Yeah. You see, the Holy Spirit is our everyday inspiration. You know, <laughs> it's a nice one. And also from Pastor Nick. You remember he organized a musical program not so long ago titled um, um, Sing Along. Yeah, that was an inspiration for me. Are you referring to Pastor Nicholas Ekwe, the founder of Divine Assembly of Smiling Faces? Yes, 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 yes. Sir, is there any problem? Yes, there is a problem. I am afraid we may have to cancel this program. <laughs> Sir, if I may ask, why? Pastor Nicholas Ekwe is not a true man of God. With all due respect, sir, how do you mean Pastor Nicholas is not a true man of God? The way he lives, the way he preaches, in fact, his lifestyle is not in accordance with the principles of the Bible. Whatever he initiates is canal driven. He lives in carnality. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Um, are you are you trying to say that we are going to cancel this beautiful program, this this beautiful idea, just because I mentioned Pastor Nick? Boma. There are many beautiful programs we can organize in our church that will rain down the Spirit of God, that will make people see the presence, see and feel the divine presence of God without involving a man like Pastor Nick, whose activities are always carnal driven. Remember, the Bible says, like I said before, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Now I want you to listen to me perfectly. For you to convince anyone to part with their money, you have to be on top of your game. I mean, a man who has acquired so much wealth and is a philanthropist, is very smart and can detect lies easily. Hmm. This is confusing. Is it not lies I'm expected to be telling him? Nick, this is why it is called obtaining by false pretense. You have to tell those lies with boldness. Yes. I mean, you make them believe that these lies are the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. Huh. Pray I don't ruin this business for you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There is no you. It is us. Make sure you don't ruin this business for us. Nick, this is simple. It is like um, lying to your congregation that Jesus has performed the miracle when you know he has done nothing. Excuse me. Are you saying you don't believe in Jesus Christ? Yet you want to become a pastor's wife? Nick, Nick. Concentrate. We are not talking about being a Christian, believing in Jesus, or wanting to be a pastor's wife. I need you to concentrate on this business. Okay, see what we're going to do. 
if this man sends five million dollars, we'll spend like um say ten million naira on a very big jamboree party. Cover it and send it to them. They see it as something big and then they send more money. That's very easy. Just like that. Just like that. Think of the money, boyfriend. Think. Yeah. The way he lives, the way he preaches, in fact, his lifestyle is not in accordance with the principles of the Bible. Whatever he initiates is canal driven. He lives in carnality. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. possible what he said was true. Because Pastor Taribo, I know, cannot utter such words without being sure. Oh my God. What should I do about this program now? I hope you remember everything we rehearsed. I will try. You don't have to try, you have to make it possible. So no mistakes? No mistakes at all. This is a very smart person. Okay, I'm going to dial his number now and I'll have the phone over to you. Hello, good evening, my soul. You are blessed. By his grace, my name is Senior Pastor James Aragabagi. Yes, the general, or better still, the Daddy G.O., that means General Overseer of Divine Evangelism Ministry of Smiling Faces. Yes. Our duty is to help the poor, the needy, and spread the word of God. Amen. Okay, you see, the problem we have here in um, Nigeria is that many people barely feed. Some are not sure of three square meal a day. Some are homeless. Some can't even afford hospital bills. So on a daily, we spend too much money feeding many, accommodating many, and taking care of their hospital bills, which is too much for the body of Christ. So my son, that's why we are reaching out to great philanthropists like you. The body of Christ needs financial assistance. Yes, my God will help you and bless you as you bless the ministry. Yes, um, Queen will send you the account number where you will send the money. Yes, the ministry's account. Oh, thank you very much. My God will reward you. My God will bless you as you help the needy. As you sow the seed, you shall never lag in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I pray for you? Good. Kneel down. Close your eyes and raise your right hand up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says in giving you receive, as you have sown into the body of Christ, 
you shall not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. My God shall reward and bless you in million folds. You shall not die, but live and testify to the goodness of the Lord. I come against every agent of darkness upon your life, your business, your finance, and your success. If I be a man of God, I decree that success will be your portion. Amen. Victory shall be your portion. Amen. You shall not lack. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. Your family shall excel. Financially, there will be breakthrough. Financially, there will be breakthrough. Financially, there will be breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor Taribu. Pastor Nicholas, you're welcome. Don't welcome me. What was the meaning of that voice note you left on my phone? Hmm? To crown it all, I was hearing your wife's voice on the background. That means she was around you when you were vomiting that rubbish. I decided to send a voice note instead of calling you because I want you to have the opportunity of listening to it again and again. All right, let's settle this once and for all. I brought my wife to be here so that you can take a good look at her. And tell me why you keep referring to her as a strange woman. There is a voice crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Is this why you invited me here? to insult me? Pastor Nicholas, that you have managed to make her look like a child of God does not manage to make her own. Uh, wait a minute, Mr. Man. Are you by any means referring to me? Do you think you are better than I am? You see this man here, he is my brother. His faith was already falling before you came into his life. It is very, very bad now. I'll beg you to let him be so that he can reinvent himself. You know what, Nick? I am not going to stand here and watch this young man insult me. I'll wait for you on the car. Pastor Taribu, what is your problem? Do you know with her help, I have initiated a business that will give me millions of naira? Do you want to provoke her and ruin everything? I did not see anything godly in the business she's trying to lure you into. I would advise you stay away from her. She is a strange woman like I said in my voice notes. If not, she will drag you to hell. Mark today's date. From this moment, you cease to be my brother. Focus on your ministry while I mind my business. Rubbish. Satan, you are a liar. You can steal my brother away from me. You are a liar. Yeah, we've seen faith. Unbelieving believers. A real man of God has prayed for me, and everything is now working excellently to the glory of God. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Don't look it. I'm fine. See, I said I want to come see your people and pay your bride price. Oh, are you not ready for me? Of course I'm ready, Victor. I mean, this is what I have prayed for all my life. I have fasted and prayed to God for a day like this to come and here we are. I am the happiest woman on earth. I love you. And when I say I love you, I truly do. I will be coming this Saturday to come to your family. I hope that is fine by you. Perfect. Yes, I will tell my dad and he will be waiting for you. <laughs> See, 
住み着いた。OK。Nicholas Ekbe. Pastor Nicholas Ekbe. Yes. The founder of Divine Assembly of Smiling Faces. Exactly. What about him? He has been arrested with his partner in crime. Now guess who his partner in crime is? You know I'm not so good in guessing. Please tell me. The same unbeliever he wants to get married to. Now imagine the impact of this disaster on the minds of the people he is leading. Huh. I warned him. I advised him to go into prayers and fasting so he can seek the face of the Lord to reinvent his spirit man. But he will not listen. Mm. Pastor Nicholas will not listen. 
Now look at it. My king, I don't think anyone should be sorry for him at this time. Yes, he had his chances and he blew it. I had enough evidence to send both of you to jail. You and your cohorts. But you can help yourselves by telling me the truth. What truth? Officer, I am a man of God. The General Overseer of Divine Assembly of Smiling Faces. A ministry with huge online presence. It's embarrassing linking me with crime or fraud. It's wrong. You want to drag my name to the mud? Listen, officer, I don't know what I am doing here. You were at my place the last time. You conducted a search and found nothing. You left with a damaged phone that belongs to one of my sacked security. You said you were going to conduct a forensic investigation and get back to me. Up to now, I did not hear a word from you. And here you are detaining me for what exactly? Madam, what is your relationship with Alaji Haruna? Alaji Haruna? Yes, Alaji Haruna. Who be that one? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? I don't. I haven't even heard of that name before. This is Alaji Haruna. Are you still claiming you don't know him? Yeah, yeah. Officer, I'm talking, I'm talking. Officer, when lies are like me, I don't want to have problems, Samson. Tell me how much we settle this case, I give her money, when lie, I get her plenty of money outside. Settle what? You want to tarnish my image? I am a pastor, a well-known one. Please. Pastor Nick. Yes. Do you know an American called Mr. Graham, Mr. John Graham? Animal place of fame. I don't know. Are you being sarcastic with me? No, but it's embarrassing. I asked you a simple question. Answer me. Do you know an American called Graham, Mr. John Graham? I don't know him. Hmm. Tell Tell him your boyfriend. Officer, I am talking. I don't talk. What lie? Officer, I'm sorry. Tell me how much. Settle this matter. I give her money outside. But lie. Tell me how much, officer. I know what I'm throwing, Samson. Is, I know what I'm is, is this man sick? How can I settle something I know nothing about? I'm not a criminal. I'm not into fraud. I know nothing about what you're saying. So say let's settle, let's settle. You're embarrassing me. Stop. And settle what exactly? Officer, I'm lie. I know what I'm throwing. Tell me. Are you trying to corrupt me? Well, let me. I'm a businessman. I get on business outside. All right. Okay. Anyway, the truth has been unfolded. I have enough evidence to nail both of you, whether you believe it or not. It will unfold as time goes on. Oh, God. Are you saying there is nothing we could do about this whole thing? There is nothing we can do. I mean, I, I won't quit. I told her let's stop this whole thing and find something legitimate to do. But she wouldn't listen. Eh? Has God not blessed us enough? Now look at it. The long arms of the, of the law has caught up with her. There is nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Honestly, I feel so much for her. And now they will freeze all her accounts. She'd know that's the first thing they would do. Hi. The point is that she's going to jail. Uh, but they have no evidence against her. How would they possibly jail her? You think? See, the authorities have evidences against everyone. They're just waiting for one day when uh, eventually your corpse gets full. Eh? <sighs> but, Cindy, can we just um, forget about this topic and let's talk about us. 
Yes, let's talk about our future. Come on. Are you serious about this whole thing? That you want me to be your wife? Um, come on, Cindy. I mean, with, with everything we've been through together, and now we've decided to, to live the life of crime and venture into something legitimate. I, I think it's only fair that we, that we forge ahead as man and wife. Oh, oh, don't you love me well enough to want to be my wife? Uh, I love you. And yes, I will marry you. Mm, thank you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. Internet frosters. Internet frosters. It's the deal of the day now. Hey, hey. Yahoo, yahoo. Yahoo, yahoo. Oh. Hey. Cybercrime. Hey. The problem we have here in uh, Nigeria is that many people barely feed. Some are not sure of three square meal a day. Some are homeless. Some can't even afford hospital bills. So on a daily, we spend too much money feeding many, accommodating many, and taking care of their hospital bills, which is too much for the body of Christ. So my son, that's why we are reaching out to great philanthropists like you. The body of Christ needs financial assistance. Yes, my God will help you and bless you. That was your voice you just heard. You still do not know Mr. Graham, Mr. John Graham? Now let me inform you. The Mr. John Graham you have been interacting with is actually a secret agent. He didn't know that. So every correspondence you had with him is at my beck and call. What? Even Mr. Ibezim Chigwendo you sent to New York to have a meeting with Mr. Graham has been apprehended and arrested by the American authorities. So you see, Is there a way we can do what Mr. Haruna suggested? Please, I'm ready to do it. Please. Like, you want to settle me, like he said? If that's the right word to use. Please. It would be my pleasure to send you to jail. And as for you, I want to close that church of yours where you commit atrocities and a lot of corruptions. And the only way to do that is to make sure that both of you, Haruna, your cohorts, and every other person surrounded with your business will go and rot in jail for the rest of their lives. Um, Musa, come and take them away and prepare their papers. I'm taking them to court. The day now. Internet frosters. Internet frosters. The day of the day now. Hey, hey, Yahoo, 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 oh, yeah. Hey, Sabrina, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, Sabrina, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, What's the profit when you gain the world and then you lose your soul? Uh, hey. What's the game when you make this money without a peace of mind? Yeah. Hey.